Starting an online master's degree in computer science is a large time commitment, no matter how you look at it. But there are things you can do to reduce the burden. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Will. I'm an engineering manager and online master's degree student. And on this channel, I share my experiences with online learning and my growth as a software developer. Today, I'll get my direct feedback on how much time I approximately spend each week in my online master's at CS, their overall time commitment, and some tips to make your life easier in a CS master's program. First up, the weekly time commitment. Time commitment varies from semester to semester for me. It depends on two factors mainly. Difficulty of the course or courses I'm taking, or the number of courses I'm taking a semester. The difficulty of the course can be broken down into the content of the material being taught, the assignments required by the course, and the quality of the instructors and TAs. The difficulty material is all relative to your skill or experience. So for me, a course on a new cloud technology would be more difficult material for me than say a course on C-sharp programming or advanced financial mathematic concepts. The harder the subject is, the more time you'll need to dedicate to study each week. A course that is mostly written assignment based with exams will likely be less demanding than a course that includes written assignments, programming problems, a project, and exams. From my experience thus far, programming style assignments and projects eat up the most time. Each class that isn't a capstone will have weekly lectures with a learning assessment at the end. And for the most part, you can guarantee a couple hours to be acquired here alone. The last factor is the need for self-research due to lack of response or accessibility to instructors or TAs. Most of the courses in an online master's degree will lay the foundation but will require some do-it-yourself components just to find answers for missing pieces. The amount you need is generally correlated to how active the instructors and TAs are on the course forums. The good ones will address the common gotchas or restate the problem that was previously hard to interpret. The Georgia Tech OMS CS has an open source course planner with the review of courses from students and on average, across all courses, you can expect to spend generally 13 and a half hours a week. This generally aligns with experiences of mine as well. Some courses require a steady pace of 15 hours or so a week, while some might be five hours one week and then 25 the next, depending on what's due. Obviously, this can multiply time commitment by the number of courses you're taking a semester. The first semester in my program, I naively took two courses and that was a big mistake. I had no free time for most part, and now I only take one course a semester and the load is much more manageable. Next, let's touch on long-term time commitment. Now that I explained my weekly commitment, I'll briefly touch on the overall time commitment for participating in an online master's degree in computer science. There are two factors at play here. The prep work I needed to complete prior to gaining acceptance into my program and the actual time commitment to graduate. In order to apply and get accepted in my program, I needed to spend significant time not only did I have to spend several hours gathering information to fill out the application, I had to spend time writing an essay and a statement of purpose. I also had to spend time to work with coworkers to get two layers of recommendations submitted. This roughly took me around 20 hours. After I applied to the program, I got conditionally accepted on the basis I would fulfill a missing requirement in data structures and algorithms. This meant I needed to take an introductory course and pass an entrance exam. The course and the exam probably took me around 80 hours. With that said, I already spent 100 hours before even starting my first class. For some, they won't need to spend as much time. For others, without a technical undergrad or professional experience, they might need to spend up to five times of what I did. It'll take me around 30 months to complete the entire program. That is with taking two classes my first semester, then continue to take one class each fall, spring, and summer semester without taking a break. From the time I started researching programs to the time I graduate and receive my diploma, it will almost be exactly three years. Here's some tips on making your time commitment a little bit easier. As I already mentioned, pursuing a master's degree will eat up anywhere between 10 to 25 hours a week of your time, depending on your course load. For someone that either has a full-time job or family, especially both, this is a huge impact on your personal life. You want to think in advance on what you're going to sacrifice in order to meet the required time commitments to pass your courses. Specifically, think about the leisure activities you can cut out to make room for things. Things like TV and video games are generally the first things to go. This doesn't mean that you won't ever have time for them, but just prepare to have less time for them. I still get a game or two a week of League of Legends or catch a TV show after I finish my other school tasks, but it's definitely less frequent than my pre-CS master's degrees days. If you have significant other or frequent family time commitments, get out in front of potential conflicts by discussing your acquired time commitments of your master's degree before you start your first class. 
Talk about when you plan a study and when you have free time. For me, I almost exclusively do my coursework on weekdays at night after my two kids go to bed, which means most Monday through Friday nights, 8 p.m. to midnight. This generally leaves my weekend days open for family activities. For a typical online master's degree student, expect to spend 13 and a half hours a week and wait around three years to get your degree after you made your decision to move forward. If you're interested in learning more about enrolling in an online CS master's degree program, check out my short playlist of the process. See you in there.